Hey everyone, Trunks and Paul here. With the release of Season 2 of Street Fighter 6, we wanted to do a guide on how to make learning new combos easier, as well as how to make hitting your existing combos more consistent. After watching this, I'm sure you'll have all the tools you'll need to have your combos on autopilot, so you can focus on your neutral, footsies, and reads to outplay your opponents in the new patch. The first thing we're going to go over are links. Links are just when you're trying to combo a normal move after another normal move. A normal move here being defined as any punch or kick. So for example, if I'm trying to combo Jury's standing medium punch into a crouching medium punch, I'm trying to link these two moves together. I should mention that not all normal moves link into each other, and a lot of it is character dependent, so not everyone has a standing medium punch that will link into a crouching medium punch. So one thing that everyone struggles with a lot initially is getting every single move to come out when they're trying to do a combo. Sometimes you'll press buttons and they won't come out, sometimes the buttons will come out, but it won't actually combo. The thing that you need to realize about doing combos in Street Fighter, or any other fighting game for that matter, is that it's all about timing. The biggest mistake that a lot of beginners make when trying to learn how to combo is just mashing all the buttons of the combo string. And while this may sometimes work, it's not going to be the most consistent way of executing a combo. There are specific timings between normal moves that you're going to have to learn if you want to do these combos consistently. So there are a couple of techniques people use that I'm aware of that can help people do these links more consistently. I'll quickly go over the one that I use personally, which is double tapping. So once you figure out the timing of a link, so for example, we'll use Jerry's standing medium punch into crouching medium punch again, make sure to just double tap quickly each button twice in the combo, with the exception of the very first move in the combo, which I only press once. I'll say that I would not recommend using double tap when you're trying to do combos with jabs, because the jabs are just too fast, and most people don't have trouble linking jabs in the first place. Again, learning the timings for each link between normals may take some time, especially if you're brand new to this, but this is something that anyone can do, and double tapping might help you a lot if you're having trouble with it. It's worth noting that not everyone double taps to link. A lot of people just press the button once, like trunks, so just try it out multiple ways to see what works for you. Just to reiterate again on the timings between links, there are basically two things that can go wrong, which is a button not coming out when you press it, or the combo not actually comboing. If a button isn't coming out, it's just because you pressed the button too early. And if the combo isn't actually comboing, then you probably just press the button too late. Besides links, there is another important concept to understand for your combos, which is called special canceling. A special move is just any move with a motion input, and if you're on modern, it's just any move that uses the special button. These moves are a bit different than regular moves because you can buffer a special move right after a button without needing to time anything like a link. It's important to note that not all punches or kicks are special cancelable. Each character has their own specific set of punches and kicks that are special cancelable. So make sure you know your character's set. This can be easily tested in the training mode. You can only do a special cancel if your punch or kick button connects with your opponent on hit or on block. You cannot special cancel a move if the button whiffs. Supers in this game have slightly different canceling rules than normal special moves. Level 1 supers can be cancelled off any special cancelable button, just like a normal special cancel. Level 2 supers have the additional benefit of being able to be cancelled after an OD or EX special move. Level 3 supers are even more freeform because they can be cancelled into off of any special cancelable normal as well as any special move, even if it's not OD or EX. There are some buffering techniques that people use to basically reduce the number of inputs they have to do when finishing a combo with a super. Assuming you're on classic controls, since supers require a lot of inputs, sharing inputs can make finishing combos with supers significantly easier and more consistent. We'll use Ryu here because he's got a pretty good example of input sharing. Ryu's will very commonly combo their DP into level 3 super, so you can do the DP motion, which is forward down forward punch, and then right after do the full super motion, which is down forward down forward kick. But because you end DP with a down forward, which is coincidentally the first input for a level 3 super, you only have to press down forward once more after the DP to get your level 3. And that's what I mean by input sharing. You're essentially just recycling the last input you used in the DP for the first one in the level 3. Another example of this would be something like Kami's crouching medium punch into level 1. Kami's level 1 is down forward down forward kick, and since crouching medium punch requires you to be pressing down, you already have the first input of the level 1 super, and the combo can be executed with fewer inputs. Another tip if you're still struggling with just pressing all the inputs fast enough, make sure you're inputting the super right after you press the previous button. Don't wait for the crouching medium punch or the DP to even come out first. Just start buffering the super right away. 
Utilizing all these tips and getting enough reps to train the muscle memory will definitely get you to be able to hit your combos consistently in training mode. But what confuses a lot of players is when they have a combo down in training mode, but drop that same combo frequently in matches. This is because doing a combo in the heat of a match is completely different than doing it in practice mode. In a regular match, you should be juggling a ton of different things on your mental stack, such as neutral, footsies, checking dry brush, anti-airing, and many others. The ability to juggle all these things, as well as recognizing when you earn a hit and routing into the correct combo conversion, is a completely different skill than just doing the actual combo in practice. This is something I like to call switching gears. You need to train the skill by bringing your lab combos into tense matches. So don't be too hard on yourself when you drop a combo you've been labbing in your games. It's all part of the process, and the fact that you even went for the new combo is a huge step in the right direction. Make sure to recognize the small wins in the learning process, and you'll be able to hit your combos all the time without thinking about it very much at all, or it hindering your mental stack in a tense match. That'll conclude our presentation on combos. Thanks for tuning in, and if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing as it helps me out a lot. I also started a Discord server full of people trying to have fun and improve in Street Fighter VI, so check the description for a link to join. I'll also be streaming every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5pm Eastern, so come by to see me beat up Paul with Akuma.